Hey everybody, every day we're out here grinding. Another day, another flipping dicey. I would really like, this is a big milestone to me. Beating episode six for me as the inventor, oh the weekend is pretty good. It means a couple of things. For me, that's the minimum level of uh, completion in the game. So we definitely want to do this. Um, it's the minimum level of completion of the game. I don't think anybody out there would blame me. I mean, I don't think many people out there would blame me for uh, not grinding out the episode fours. I w Here's the thing. I could easily say, you know, until they're fixed, but, you know, that, that would probably mean you would never return. Wait, usually when I yeet a game, is gone forever. But... The faster we, yes, the faster we knock it out, the faster, uh, or I should say, the more likely the odds that we would finish it all. And I understand there is a bonus character, but if in order to do that, you gotta get the, you gotta beat the episode four, so you get the idea. Now, don't mistake that as like, oh, he's so happy to be done with Dicey. It's more like I'm seeing the finish line of like a half marathon in front of me. So I'm like, I'm looking at it and I'm stoked that it appears we might indeed make that finish line. That's very exciting to me. It's a joyous occasion if we're able to do it. It's not a, uh, it's nothing to be, you know, it's not like we're waiting with bated breath for it to happen, but we're, we're willing to work for it. I do like re-equip. The main reason I like re-equip is because we go first. Um, if we roll a natural six, that allows us to apply two weakened enemies, which is, um, really good. So, you know, we can use this, then do this, and all of a sudden, this guy's got two weakness instead of just the classic one. And he's not even doing any damage as a result of that. So I think that's, that's a big win for us when we're able to make that happen. Yeah, we'd still rather do it like this. And uh, if you want to use one of your dice, you will have to pay. This guy got totally screwed. I feel bad. If I had the capacity to feel bad for a, my adversary in a PvE human being versus AI game, I would feel bad for that guy. So we're definitely throwing Whisper away here. Certainly we want to fight Sneezy. And then sticky hands can actually hurt us. So, uh, on this one, I'm like, what do you want to re-equip? I think you still go focus first. And then you would just go like this, like this. The weaken is not as good because he has a much broader selection of equipment, but if it hit this, we would have been stoked. Instead, it didn't. Yeah, so I don't really know what happened there, um, but it's certainly not a bad thing. <laughs> it's like it just swallowed his dice. Uh, thank you, I suppose. Go ahead and take my blowtorch. This is a tough one. Uh, I do really like Chainsaw. The problem is, I think it's very unlikely we, we would ever get... We'd have to roll two natural sixes to use Chainsaw properly because we have re-equip. Um, and, you know, I, I think I would rather get a modest, consistent benefit from re-equip as opposed to whatever the heck, uh, we would have gotten from Chainsaw. Could have gotten really lucky, but could have gotten, gotten real spiced as well. Uh, on evens? Three uses of Spanner. I think evens are gonna make it a little easier to get to two weaken. Whether or not two weaken is actually a relevant concern for us is, uh, you know, it's really up to you. But I, I think for me, that's that's a bonus. Like, right off the bat. I mean, I now that I think about it, I'm like, I don't know how, how much value uh, weaken actually is against this guy anyway. I mean, he's not gonna get to run away. I think we should actually just do the raw damage to reactivate the gadget and then put a little bit of extra there. Yeah, okay, that's fantastic. Uh, hold on. Returns a six and a one. I mean, that is good for us, but 
Still, I think we'd rather just do it like that. He got destroyed so quickly. To be fair, we had a good gadget, but still. So we really want to yeet a saw wave into non-existence. You can tell, even the developer was like, we didn't really know what to do with this, so... It just gives you a random benefit whenever you use it. It's a, it's a piece of equipment that... The thing that should not be but is. James Hetfield. Okay. Random status effects. One weaken. We would much rather go for extra weakness against this guy. Than an extra gadget. Oh, but we already have the weakness because of the even. So I think you do take the heat. Hit him. Hit him again. Take the heat. Hit him. Hit him again. Because we got the one random effect. We used our gadget three times in a row and that gave us an achievement. Who would have known? 12 damage in every status effect in the book. He will do three damage and apply no status effects to us. That's a dream come true. So catch him with one of these. That's a lock dice. That's probably the best status. We turn two odds into uh, two evens. Seems like a solid setup for us. Um, focus will kill him. But it's like... It seems like we'd be better off... Oh, we... I forgot how Elastic Heart works. That's my bad. So I think we're out of these, we're going to get rid of Elastic Heart for sure. Um, yes, I, I do appreciate this. How far are we away, away are we from leveling up? Not far. One enemy, I think. So let's get a piece of equipment. Hall of Mirrors. I don't know about that one, brother. Um, you a Mimic? I think you might be a Mimic. We're gonna fight an enemy first. The reason we're fighting an enemy first is because we have a gadget that allows us to heal. So, I do... Do you like weaken on this one? Or do you like to reuse the health regen? I think we'd prefer to weaken you, because you're gonna give us full HP if we kill you anyway. So I think we like this. 5-2 will make 6-1. Honestly, I think this might be a limit break situation, actually. I know they're on fire. And then we'll just give you one of those, one of these, and do that as well. So we got a, a nice amount of regen there. He's got a lot of weakness, and he's not really able to do much. His weakness is working out pretty nicely for us. The re-equip did put us in a more dangerous situation than I had originally anticipated, I'll admit. We'll just use the limit break again, honestly. And my man is dead. We did use two limit breaks, but it only took us two turns to get that, so it's pretty solid. Definitely take Scrap Kettle. Just the removal of that makes our run better. Um, and honestly... Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Losing Hall of Mirrors is totally fine by me. But let's see what else we can get. Berlin Key. Dude, Berlin Key could be real good for us. At, at generating sixes. Electromagnet is also very yeetable. Um, okay, so upgrade costs two... Berlin key costs one. I think we could afford to buy Berlin key. Upgrade screwdriver so it becomes smaller. Buy Berlin key to raise our odds of getting as many sixes as possible. When necessary, we can just shove electromagnet. I don't know why I keep saying it weird. Electromagnet in to try to uh, use it as a yeetable piece of equipment. Okay. I'm just... Okay, I think the way you do this is like so. This shovel. Spanner on the 5-3. Then... Uh, not Hall of Mirrors. Berlin Key. It does create sixes that maybe are dangerous, but... feel like basically the central premise of our run right now is we're killing enemies faster than they're killing us. Now that I think about it, though, our, our constant generation of sixes is potentially going to cause us a little bit of danger. I mean, we took 18 damage on turn one. That's pretty spiced. Thank God for the limit break, though. Yeah, this is... Now I'm like, maybe this is horrible. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe we can race some of these enemies, but uh, it's it's got me thinking, that's for sure. All dice become six. Okay, very interesting. Um, 
We could find an enemy we like and swap equipment with them. You know what? It would be amazing to uh, to swap with Cornelius. That would that would be really funny. So Venus Flytrap does compensate for the burn, but it takes two space. Yeah, I don't I don't really appreciate it to be honest. I think I appreciate Puppy Paws just as a space filler. But now I'm like, dude, we're probably going to die. You will never roll a six. Okay. Honestly, here's my methodology. It's very simple. If we keep playing the way that we're playing and generating infinite sixes, I think we're in a real terrible spot. I think we take this... Just because we know the other path is likely to lead to certain death. What I'm hoping this does... I want to fight this guy last. Is that it turns our sixes into fives, which would be completely okay from the perspective of raw damage, but without burn. The other thing it might do is just make it impossible for us to roll a six, but give us a six if we create one. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, four... Then, let's go ahead and combine a 5 and a 3 and see what happens. Okay, so it, it does work like that. Um, well. I mean, I, I guess we're committed. The one thing's for certain here. We're generating just the staggering amount of limit breaks. Another thing is for sure. We, can't, we cannot use a 6 or we'll be killed. Um... Okay, use a... Use your five? I don't know, dude. Use four one to roll two fives. And then turn your last dice into a five. And then... Hit for a very small... We're gonna be killed. We got a little bit too close to the sun. The thing is, this run it would have been completely okay if we hadn't taken the rule that your sixes are automatically on fire. Without that rule, we... Honestly, I think we built a run that wins pretty easily. So it's it's annoying, but at the same time, uh, lesson learned, or at least lesson we've incentivized learning the lesson. Ah, oh. We're gonna go. Honestly, the shovel was working out just fine for us. We'll take scrap club. Doesn't bother me. I don't know where I'd like to go on this one. Thank you for asking. Um, hit me with a... Hold on. Hit me with a one replicate. That's the way we want to go there. Without a doubt. Just running the numbers here. Definitely Scrap Club, but I guess it's our next piece of equipment that really determines how we want to do this, huh? Like, I think Gemstone Staff or Capacitor are probably our next ones to go. But I'm uncertain. I'm uncertain as of right now, at least. Um, you're dead, though. Okay, let's just renew our confidence here. I'm ready to go. Take Capacitor. Out of all these, Capacitor's the one that's gotta go. I don't think we're doing much with the, the Gemstone to begin with, and we're not gonna be doing too much with Knitting Needle, probably. One of your dice is frozen. I think that that's really bad. Starting with Fury, I can live with, because we go first. But it does make things a little spooky. Um, I'm gonna go Dryad first, but I think we'd, we'd like to... We'll, we'll figure out where we stand, and then we'll figure out when Sneezy is... When's the right time to go for Sneezy, I should say. This one kind of sucks. Because we can't... Uh, we can't double up on this. What we can do is 
Turn a five and a four into two sixes and two threes, which is pretty, pretty solid. And you got a six, two right there. And then you can put three in there for a thorn. Ah, we thank God we froze your dice. This is looking kind of similar to our last run. Just in the sense that, uh... I don't think we can kill you. I think we do want to do this, though. Um, we want to keep you from rolling a six, basically. Wait, I'm dumb. Yeah, that was the right play. We had lethal. Okay, get your mathematical head in your brain here, okay? You're gonna take Knitting Needle, it's not worth much to begin with. I think we're we're okay to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sneezy. The thing is, my man's gonna roll just a staggering... Okay, honestly, the needles being automatic are very helpful. Um, apart from that, we just gotta accept whatever he rolls, basically double it. But he'll, he'll gas himself out of equipment before too long anyway. So I don't think he's getting us. Yeah, he's not getting us. Which means we'll be at full HP. We do have to kill him this turn, though. Which is honestly not that easy. We have a maximum output of 12 per turn. So we gotta be a little cautious. I should have taken another piece of equipment first, huh? Okay, so take Flash Freeze. Honestly, I think we can totally make Chainsaw work with this run. Bump is also fine. I think we can make Chainsaw work because of Spanner. I have to think about this for a second. We're not full? Okay, why don't you go ahead and buy the Scrap Club then? It buys us a little bit of confidence as well. Um, what do I mean by that? You're, you'll see for yourself. Because of Fury, we can very easily generate 24 damage done. Uh... Like, even by putting in a 6 and a 3, it'll generate two sixes, two threes. Alternatively, we could use it on Bump. And then we would generate... I mean, there's a variety of different ways to do this, I guess is what I'm trying to say. This gives us 24 damage. Which you then just follow it up with something like that is good enough. <laughs> Being able to have a near guaranteed 24 damage per turn strikes me as being a very, very solid sort of choice for us. Elastic Heart slots right in. Now we have one gold. Um, we can't afford anything, and I think that's A-OK. -okay. We've got really good raw damage potential. I think in this case, I can live with a Burning Dice. I know that seems very similar to what caused our problems last time. Dude, a second bump is totally fine. We'll just slot that in with whatever gets yeeted this time. Um, who's the most dangerous enemy for us? Definitely copycat. So I think we should go wizard copycat. So that we're on full HP after we killed the copycat. So if we roll two natural sixes, any enemy is absolutely screwed. Um, even without that, we still get 24 there. You're dead. So we got a, an incredible first turn. Enemies with more HP are going to be a problem, but um, this is this is super unfortunate. I think. I think you have to take Spanner, though it pains me, because uh, we have Bump, which accomplishes a pretty similar thing. But that's just, it's a, ma a minor setback, it is what it is. Couldn't take a uh, Shovel, because that's like our only damage, our only major damage source. So this time, hit me with a Focus, then we're going to double up on this right off the bat, and this should be 48 damage dealt. Very, very nice. I'm not saying <clears throat> that we've broken the game, because I don't believe that that's the case. You can take one of my bumps. I truly don't believe that that's the case. But, we gotta figure out how we're gonna keep this going. One way for sure is to just keep tossing equipment into the grist for the mill, you know what I mean? So we'll fight the fireman, and then we'll see where we stand, I think. Again, you know... It's not very hard. 
Actually, this is this is the first time we're like unable to get to. Well, we're still gonna get to. No, we're not gonna get to sixes. Wow, it's a, it's a real fight, dude. I know we could wait for another turn, but that that doesn't seem sensible to me, to be honest. That was just a really unfortunate kind of low roll. Um, one even, but used twice. That's not that bad. Uh, a natural six, which will actually lead to two sixes being created. I will... Sp it's because you inflicted burn. Okay, so that's 12 damage. I'm willing to... I'm spendy, dude. I'm spendy here. Might as well get some thorns. Why don't you, you know... Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Why don't you roll almost no evens and call me in the morning, dummy. I mean, we'd rather just... Yeah, just just kill him. Like, why get so technical with it? Okay. So that was our first little minor setback. We know Chainsaw can't go. Like, Needle has to go first. But um, in terms of, like, what happens next... We need one piece of equipment, I think, just to buffer our odds. I think. Um, so it's either nunchucks or keyblade from that one. <clears throat> Pea shooter or capacitor. I think both of those are probably worse. Mosquito bite can fit, but we should still spend our money, I think, on... You know, you could buy both. But I don't think nunchucks is very useful for us. We could have bought an upgrade. Enemies always roll a six. This, honestly, is is playing with fire because of the fact that uh, enemies also start with fury. But the idea is, a lot of the time, I should be able to kill them before they kill me. Like, on this one, we can very easily just do this. So, like, that's a, a non-issue. You can take elastic hearts. We get another mosquito bite. Counterfeit. That's another good thing to slot in to ensure that we can actually use chainsaw. We still need a little bit of luck with gadget selection. That's all I'm gonna say right now. So I think Bump will spit out two sixes. Yeah. And then we can at least get 24 damage. Obviously it's like not where I wanna be. Just wanted to maximize damage there. Um, you didn't roll a good odd. Oh, you're just gonna silence me twice. That's it's a bold move. Let's see how that works out. Oh yes, we're silenced. That, that's fair. Um, sure. I mean, it doesn't do anything for us. Right, right. So I'm dumb. Is basically the gist of that one. Still no good odds. I hate loud birds, dude. Mostly because I don't pay attention as much as I should. So you're gonna dodge for certain, so we should definitely hit you with the early life drain. Then we bump the five. And we do it six, six, one. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Ka to you as well, good sir. Remember, chainsaw is is a you can't take it. Mosquito bite, you could definitely you could dump one of those. And instead, what comes into the deck? The keyblade. Which is actually a, like a pretty useful piece of equipment in and of itself. Um, you just really want sixes early. Two sixes is the dream. One six is still pretty good. Honestly, I'm like Yeah, like Don't shoot the messenger. This seems like a really strong way to play the game, is to never let the enemy uh, ever have a chance to attack. Um, so yes, you may take a mosquito bite yet again. And honestly, I'm like, dude. No, I, at first I was like, copy uh, chainsaw, but then I realized having one chainsaw is the optimum number. Bump just gets better. I, honestly, having the ability to weaken on evens instead of needing a six seems the best for me. You get diminishing returns with a chainsaw is what I'm trying to say. Uh, just because of the fact that... Honestly, I... 
it's okay, we'll go with a different rule. It's just scary. I, after Okay, this this seems like an inert rule to me. I don't mind it at all. Um, the, th the thing that I do mind, we do want to... We can't fight him last. Which is very scary to me. Um, I'm just trying to think. It's the same amount of equipment. But I think this... Well, this is better to guarantee the damage that we can deal. I'm gonna fight Rotten Apple first. It's very inadvisable. Like, it's extraordinarily inadvisable. But... This allows us to get to a shop which will have equipment. Which is of the utmost importance. Do three damage, return the dice. Low rolls, please. That's not high enough to be that bad. I can live with that. We do have to kill him this turn, though, because we can't afford for him to have our HP. That's, it could ruin our whole run. We only have to hit him for eight. Luckily. It's about what we're capable of doing when we don't roll sixes naturally. It's a very feast or famine sort of deck. Um, you Basically, I have to get you to take bump. And it's unfortunate because bump is a useful piece of the ecosystem for us. But um, Befuddle. It still offers a duplication chance. So you're saying there's a duplication chance. I am, dude, you could you could buy a scrap spear, give it a try. I'm just like, please God, don't make me get rid of one of these three. All you need to do is put Befuddle in the list. That's it. I could even get rid of Shovel, but I would rather not. We're gonna fight the singer. Don't screw me on this one. Bumping the dice. Extremely beneficial. Right, I, it, for real, in my head, I was like, shouldn't it do 48 damage? Then I realized it, it only does 36 because... Uh, really? I can't believe it. Well, you know, two can play that game, apparently. Um, anyway, what I was going to say is... Uh, I don't know. I got distracted by the fact that the game's still trying to screw me. Um, yes, thank you for allowing me to remove Befuddle. That that was unbelievably mission critical. Um, I mean, I'm like, you might as well upgrade Chainsaw. The reason I want you to upgrade Chainsaw is because it allows us to... Uh, a little spiced, huh? It allows us to uh, use it even when we don't have a, uh, a a couple of sixes. So on turn one, that might not be as relevant, but on future turns, we definitely want to be able to use it. So um, we certainly want to go focus on this one and catch you with one of these. You're very lucky. Go ahead, use the six. Go ahead. Why don't you go ahead and use the six, Rhinoceros Beetle? Don't let me stop you. This is a very fast run. <laughs> I'm getting a little scared that it's all gonna come apart. Um, so I think we don't mind losing Keyblade. And the idea for me is that I'm going to put a Polar Star into this deck before the boss fight. We have the gold. Um, so what we would probably do is cut the shovel. Buy both of them. And then we'll, we'll guarantee the loss of Scrap Spear. Which will allow us to roll a pretty solid loadout going into the boss fight, I think. I think we've, we've, we've found it. Like, this is the utmost importance. I, I know what you might be saying, by the way. You might be saying, why wouldn't you duplicate a dice? Well, then because this wouldn't have done 36 damage. We would have, got, we would have sacrificed 12 damage to do 6 damage. Okay, low rolls, please. 
two is ideal. Oh, this is... It's alright, we got him killed next turn, as long as he doesn't go on the world's greatest run. <laughs> okay, I mean, to be honest, locking a lot of our dice puts him pretty close to having the world's greatest run, but... Okay, you rolled a natural six, which is hilarious, thank you. Now we can save a limit break for the boss fight, which will determine that we're able to go in there with Chainsaw right out of the gate. Go ahead. Remove Scrap Spear, which gives us a, just a horrible gadget for the record. Plasma Cannon we do not want. Dude, I could not be happier with what we have going into our boss fight, honestly. I don't remember what you do, except sell cookies. But I do know, turn one is gonna suck. For you. For you. So you definitely focus on turn one. You need this in order to... In order to dominate. Okay, you are more than half dead already. What do you even do? You poison? No, you, you go for raw damage as well, but also burning. I see. So we got double burn. No effect. Great use of your dice. Um... Still a very great situation for us. You're dead. We actually did it. There are those who thought glass cannon run could not work. We got the perfect rule set to make it a thing. Okay. All we have left are episode fours. And a completely new character. I, I am gonna try the episode fours. But, it's a little on the fence about whether or not we'll actually get them all the way done to completion. But, dude, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!